This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. With the select object commandlet, we can filter our results or output that we get from another commandlet. For example, if I type in get-hotfix, it's going to get all the hotfixes on this computer. Now, let's say I just want the hotfix ID. And we saw how to do this with format list and format table, but we can also do it with select object. So we'll do our get hotfix and pipe it to select dash object. And I can type in minus property. And the property I want, let's say hotfix ID. And I could do a comma and do more properties if I'd like, but I'm just going to get hotfix ID. So there it is. So it just selected hotfix ID. Now to shorten the syntax up a bit with select object, I can actually not use this property a parameter. I don't have to specify it. So if I'm just selecting certain columns or certain properties, then I can do that. But select object lets us go a step further here. So let's say I want to skip the first five hotfix IDs. So it actually did that. It skipped the first five and list everything after it. I could also just select a certain one. So if I just run get hotfix here, let's say I want to select the one, two, three, four, fifth one here. I can do that with the index parameter. Now it's important to know that the index, the first one actually starts with zero. So it's actually 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So the fifth one is actually at index 4. So if we go ahead and do our get hotfix, select dash object, and I can type in minus index 4, it should give us just that one. And it did. And I could also do something like pipe it to format list. Now what about if I'm selecting uh, you know, a lot of objects here or I'm running a commandlet that returns a lot of objects and a lot of them are duplicates. I just want to see the unique values or unique entries. Well, we can do that. Get dash hotfix, select object, minus unique. So it's pretty easy. We just specify the unique parameter and it just shows us the unique entries. Now what about if I just want the first five or the last five? Well, I can do that as well. Instead of unique here, we'll go first five. It's going to give me the first five. And if I want the last five, I can just specify the last five. So one thing to note with the select object, you may see it uh, just typed as select. So you can do that as well. But it is using the select object commandlet when we do that. 